And Through Night claims that this light is waterproofed. So I enlisted my friend Cody. We went through some very scientific testing to see if it really was. Still works. Through night TI4. Great light. So here it is. We're looking at the through night TI4. This is more of an EDC light than I showed the last time. If you want to check out that review, I'll post it link it here somewhere. But this is more of an EDC light. And it's a pen style light. It's my first in the pen style lights. Um, and, and I'm really loving it. So I've used it a lot, like I said, but I put it all back in the box just like I got it so you guys could see an unboxing. You have the foam trim around here. Your light is wrapped in a plastic baggie like this. Then it has foam in the bottom. It has your card of warranty and sort of a, a thank you note. Nothing in under there, as you can see. You have your spare O-rings. So replacements in case the other ones dry up over time, which tends to happen with any rubber product like that. So that is really great. We talked about that in the last review, about how cool of a feature that is. Of course, you get your paper here as well with all your specs. I've got just off the side. And let's take a look at the light. So here it is. This is a Through Night TI4. You can see it's a really great looking light sort of a glossy black finish I feel like I'd like a little more of a matte finish but this still looks really great pocket clip is super sturdy I can tell you right away this one thing I like um, I've had a few other EDC lights and the pocket clips are never really good this one doesn't seem to be removable and uh, the other two lights I have that were EDC lights something of this size were removable clips and they weren't super durable one broke off and the other one was just way too sharp, wasn't designed well. But this one, it's nice and smooth, it's super thick, and a high amount of tension there. So this thing is not coming out of your pocket. Tail button here. And you've got your LED. It breaks apart right here on this joint. Here's the beauty about this light. And I know some of you guys will really appreciate this because I, I heard several of you express your grievances before about how you hate these specialty batteries that some of these lights take. This one takes triple A's, two triple A's. And here's where your O-ring goes on right there. So this light, of course, is waterproof. So this light has four different modes. It has a low, which is called Firefly which is 0 0.3 lumens, so really low. And there's Firefly right now. I can shine it directly into the camera lens. And you can see it's not even really giving a glare. So um, this is for like you're waking up at 4 a.m. and you don't want to wake the rest of your family, but you want to see around your room to find your socks. This is where this mode will come in handy, and I've used it in exactly that uh, fashion already and it's great for that and that's the first mode you turn on to then it has medium so you can either click it completely on and off quickly or instead of pushing it all the way in you can just half click it so there we've switched over to medium you can see there's definitely an increase medium on this light is 24 lumens and then we do the same click again and now we're at 252 lumens that's what we're rated at and this light is quite bright one thing I found about the through night light so far is they give a really even spread with their light so there's no like strange things in the reticle no sharp edges it's just a lovely super bright center and a gradual fade out to nothing so I really like that 
I have one critique with this light, and that is fixable, but it is a critique, and that is, just one second. So there's enough, there's just enough space in the chassis of this light for the batteries to move around in there. I'm not sure if... Okay, now that could be fixed. All you need to do is wrap a little bit of electrical tape, one wrap around each battery, and that would stop them from moving. Some of my favorite things about this light is a super thin profile. Uh, it's long enough to have two triple A's, so you got a real common battery, easy to pick up, and super cheap to get batteries for this. It's real slick, so it slips down in your pocket, and you do not feel it. 250 lumens is plenty for me for almost for almost any time unless I'm out in the woods somewhere in the night and I really want to light up an area but for just on person looking around this is an EDC light 250 lumens is plenty and this thing does a great job on high plus you have that those low modes there when you want them I'd never really have a use for strobe but I certainly do have a use for low powered lights this is a great light highly recommended and not very expensive so I always like getting a lot of value for my products whatever I buy I want to make sure I get a lot for my money and I think this light definitely offers that if you want a great EDC light perfect option right here or my opinion of course I can only offer my perspective but I really like it please hit the thumbs up button I'd really appreciate that leave me a comment tell me how this light could be improved I'd love to get uh, your guys' perspectives on it too. What do you like? What would be uh, better for you? What kind of features could improve this model? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.